brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, brother wisdom, what's going on, guys? Um, have you seen that uh, post on the YouTube community channel by uh, Rachel Anutero, um, the sister? That was a very powerful post that she made on uh, Earth Children and Meditation, talking about. Um, Gemini um, in the April skies linked into the moon and you must understand this powerful energy that um, is distributed we as the original beings we as so called black people we the primordial beings of this world our spiritual energy is distributed to us through our moon, all right? Our moon distributes all of the spiritual energy into our bodies, okay? So when, um, when you all who are uh, reacted to that message um, by Sister Rachel, um, a new to row. Um, you were in the understanding that um, because the star system or the planets that you were born under um, was within our solar system. Um, you felt that energy. You actually wasn't even, you felt that energy. You experienced that energy. And henceforth there you had um, headaches. You had, a, they were talking about migraine headaches. They were talking about body aches. Um, and, you know, this is something that is, um, equivalent to receiving direct energy um just like we talked about earlier in the, in the in the last message the distribution of energy so it was like that distribution of energy now what happened here is um the energies of castor and pollux which is the gemini sign the gemini sign is castor and pollux those two planets and they're not you remember just just remember this what scientists call stars are planets all right all right what scientists call stars are planets they'll say you know they they say you know um uh what planet um orbits around uh the star pollux it's not that what planet is what planets orbit around this planet so, Castor and Pollux uh, were in our solar system in conjunction with our moon. So, those energies that Castor and Pollux was giving off, our moon was absorbing that energy. All right? Our moon was absorbing that energy, and therefore, our moon began distributing that energy to our planet as well as to the other planets that uh, our moon provides energy for as well. So you end up getting a trinity of energy. You end up getting a, a, a powerful trinity of energy. Now you have to remember one thing. No matter what the scientists say, they say you know, Castor and Pollux were the sons of Zeus. All right, that's what the, that's what they put in the um, in this information. Now <laughs> you have to you know remember that all planets are feminine. You know they have to they have to. When, when we're talking about something like planets, like, you know, as, as powerful as these planets are, and they're two powerful feminine um, celestial uh, beings, because remember, all planets are feminine. 
these feminine energies provide um I really I really you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make anything up because you know I'm and and and, and I really don't make things up <laughs> um but I really haven't taken the, the liberty of linking into Castor and Pollux. I remember doing a video um, probably, what was that, about three or four years ago talking about the uh, constellations are actually galaxies and star systems. Alright? Um, I did that. I think I, I think that was a live video I did. I can't remember. It probably was a live video that I did. But I did a video I did a video about three or four years ago talking about how the um, star system these these constellations are actually star systems and galaxies and Castor and Pollux belongs to a star system and which means that star system was within our um, was within within our solar system with it would in conjunction with our moon and I've already said that I've been redundant but they were giving off some powerful energies because Castor is um, a yellow planet while Pollux is a blue planet all right and the two of them travels together all right you never see Castor without Pollux and you never see Pollux without Castor they travel together all right because they are twin planets so this is all a part of the, the, the distribution of energy now we can go into another area of this subject talking about the macroverse and the microverse now, when you talk about these two planets and you look up in the sky, in the night sky, and you see the moon and you see these two planets surrounded, surrounded the moon, that's the macroverse, all right? Or that powerful, huge, you know, universe that we look up, look up at, all right? And actually, the macroverse represents all the universes uh, together. You can say macroverse or multiverse. But we say a macroverse because we're looking at, looking up at this, these, this powerful universe and all these planets and, you know, um, all these energies that's, 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 that's all around us. And, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's so beautiful. But then you also have the microverse, all right? The microverse is the universe that is within you, remember? As it was written, the kingdom of God is within you. Why are you looking here and there for the kingdom of God when the kingdom of God is within you? Except the man be born again, he cannot uh, see the kingdom of God. What does that mean, you know? You were born with your two eyes open, but when you uh, open your third eye, therefore you're born again, all right? So the, the the cosmos, we are children of the cosmos. We are cosmos walking in the flesh. So therefore, when you look up and you see the moon, when you see Gemini and, and Pollux, when you see Jupiter, when you see Mars, all of those planets are within you. So therefore, because we are directly connected to this planetary system, all right, because we're literally the cosmos in the flesh, when these two planets are within our solar system, in the, in the, in, in the physical form, in the macroverse, they align up with the same planets that are within us in the microverse. Therefore, you are now becoming in tune, all right, and, you know, you, you have the headaches and the, and the back aches and all kind of other aches, migraines and, you know, other issues going on, and you, and because you are fully awakened, all right, those of you who are, who are awakened, you feel 
and you experience the energies. So these energies, so the moon, Casper, Castor, and Pollux that you see in the night sky are pairing up with the moon, Castor, and Pollux within you. The macroverse and the microverse. And this is all part of the distribution of energy. And the thing about it is many of you, if many of you had known this was uh, taking place, you would literally have gone into meditation and will have absorbed all of that energy and your, and your headache would have went away. But the only reason why that your, you, had a, you had a headache or you had body aches is because this is some powerful energy. You have three powerful planets just, you know, pushing this massive energy. And because you were born under that uh, Gemini sign, all right, and that Gemini sign belongs to you, you were born under that Gemini sign, therefore that energy will have been distributed to you. And you're gonna feel pain because this is a different energy that you're not used to, that you're not used to being a part of. So yeah, you know, you're gonna be up late, you're gonna have headaches, you're gonna have you know, back aches, all kind of other aches or whatever, because, you know, this is this 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 powerful uh, 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 star system is within the solar system. Which is with, it's within our solar system, and your body is pairing up with it. Now, what happens when Taurus? You know, what happens when with Cancer? You know, if you, you remember these are all star systems and galaxies. You know, like I said, that was a video. I did like three or four years ago. That was a very, very powerful video. I gotta look that up. I gotta, I gotta see if I can find it. Cause you know, I was looking through my videos uh, the other day, and I was like, God damn, I got all, I got over, over two thousand videos. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, in in eight years that I've been uh, on this platform over 2,000 videos, and I'm like, you know, even after YouTube has erased some of the videos, because, you know, I guess they deemed it controversial or whatever else, however they deem it or whatever, it's still 2,000 videos, over 2,000 videos that are, that are, um, that have been, um, posted. So I'm going to have to sort through those videos to see if I can, um, to see if I can find that video of the constellations, talking about the constellations. And what I'll do is I'll, when I find it, I'll, I'll post it in the, um, YouTube community uh, channel so that you all can experience that because that was a very powerful video and I will probably never ever be able to repeat or redo that video because I can't remember everything I said but um, you know like I said right what what you experience on the 8th and the 9th of April you know dates are important what you experience on the 8th and the 9th of April was um, uh, very powerful energy. So like you had the energy of Castor, you had the energy of Pollux, and then you had the energy of the moon. All right, we know that the moon provides nothing but pure plasma energy, pure spiritual energy for our for our spirits and our souls. And like I said, because you, we are, you know, we, we talked about that because these bodies are the masculine, these bodies are masculine energy, these bodies are a, are a manifestation. And because they are the manifestation of a thoughts, um, therefore, you have certain energies within you if, if when you're born under a certain star system. And that star system is important because that star system literally um, provides a lot of your character, a lot of your personality, you know, provides a lot of that for your, for your spirit, for your spirit body. All right. So it's, it's important to understand um, this type of information and how uh, and, and, and how you can you will operate and do certain things. And, you know, the way you think, the way you act, the way you, you know, it's, it, it, it all falls under um, powerful forces. 
All right, all falls under powerful forces. That's why they say, you know, people who are who are Taurus, you know, they act all alike. You know, all the Taurus is acting like they have these same, you know, because we were all born under that star system, that Taurus star system. You know, it, when when these so-called months go by, as these months go by, um, we are moving through different energies, different um, dimensional realms, different uh, 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 um, um, star systems. I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's powerful. It's more powerful than you can imagine. And, you know, we're constantly moving. And um, in the old days, and, you know, we who are like, like in the old days, um, we still had that star system. You know, we were under the under that Taurus or whatever else, you know, we were under that. But now we're under a new constellation. It's more so of a dragon constellation, um, which is why the children who are born now um, don't act in the way that you think they're supposed to act. Be like, well, you know, he was he was born in May, so he's supposed to be acting like a Taurus, but he's not acting like a Taurus. He acting like something else. I don't know what he acting like. So, you know, there's a there's a new star system that's here now, and I was supposed to have um, gone through this with the um, Council of uh, Energy and the Council of Time, which uh, we have to, have, I'm going to have to literally sit back and, and go into meditation and, 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 and communicate with them so that we can find out what the star system, what uh, the new constellations are. But I know it's a dragon constellation. That's one thing I do know is, is that it's a dragon constellation that we are under right now at this current time. Um, so it is um, an honor to, you know, communicate with you all. But yes, this is this is this is all under the distribution of energy, the distribution of energy, the distribution of power. Um, so that Castor and Pollux, which was um, in our solar system for two days, you guys were fed some very very powerful energy. I've got, like I said, I got to go into meditation to find out what this energy was that you all received migraines because when you talk about migraines, you talk about extremely, extremely, extremely powerful energy. And then after they left the solar system or after we, well, yeah, after they left the solar system, because, you know, you know, when you, when you're dealing with star systems and, and, and different planets, you know, some planets move in ways that's different from other planets. And, you know, we all, all the planets are moving constantly all the time. They're constantly moving through the universe there. There's no planet that stands still. You and our planet is moving constantly. We talked about that perpetual motion, constant velocity. You know, we talked about that thermodynamics. We, we talked all about that, uh, and how the planets are constantly moving and, 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 um, and, and kept the planets are, are in motion all the time. So, Whatever energy our planet needed, Castor and Pollux provided the moon with that energy and the moon pushed that energy into the planet. And those of you who were born under that star system felt that powerful energy coming straight to the planet because you were born under that star system, which is which is called Gemini. All right. You know, Gemini, they say Gemini was the two face or whatever. It's just Gemini literally means the twins or twins. So it's, it's these are these are two very powerful planets. And I'm being redundant now. Now I'm being redundant. So with that, um, I'm done. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Mostly um, wanted to talk about the macroverse and the microverse. Talking about the, the what you see in the sky is what's within you. So this is why you mostly why you had that those uh migraines is because um the 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 planets the planetary system within you is moving in the same direction as the planetary system that's up there so what's happening up there is also happening within here 
So Castor and Pollux was in the solar system up in the macroverse, but Castor and Pollux was also in the solar system in the microverse. This is the microverse within us. All right. So that would that would if you all would have known that and if you all would have went into meditation under that under that powerful energy. Oh, my goodness. It's no telling what kind of forces that you would have been able to tap into. So it's, it's very important. Like we said, we've got to get back into science and technology and physics. We got to get back. I'm going to you know what? I'm going to I'm going to spend some time and uh, we're going to talk about um, we're going to try to get some discussion. We're going to try to look into some almanacs or whatever um, or some energy. I mean, it's, you, we can actually look into um, go on, go on Google and find out what star system was in or what planetary star system uh, constellation was within our uh, solar system at certain times so that we can make a so that we can find out or so that we can just be informed you know we just we just got to get back into science astrology astronomy it's just we've we've gotten so far away from that you know and, and, and we've gone so far we, we this is why we got to build. This is why we got to create because this energy that we build and create will help us to to gravitate back towards what we came from because science and physics is always is where our, our true uh, power and strength comes from. All right. I just pass that on to you guys. I hope you understand, understand, understand everything that's been said. And I'll catch you guys a little later. All right. Uh, you know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. All right. And remember, chaos brings change, not peace. All right. Chaos is going beyond and above, studying, building, creating. All right. Much power to you all. <laughs>